Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to be covering three ways you can preserve tomatoes without canning them. So, if you have abundance of tomatoes in your garden, and I hope you do, you can use these three techniques to preserve your tomatoes. So I got these three buckets that I'm going to be using to pick all the tomatoes uh, in our garden right here. And there are a lot of tomatoes on here. So let's get going and pick these tomatoes and start preserving them. Well, there's a nice one out here. It's a nice big one. Look at these beautiful yellow tomatoes. These taste absolutely delicious. I have a YouTube subscriber, Candace, who actually came to the farm to pick these yellow tomatoes because they're so sweet. This has been a nice end of the season tomato harvest. I got three buckets full of tomatoes that are ready for processing. First, wash the tomatoes. We are 100% organic. We don't use any chemical fertilizer, pesticides, or herbicides. However, this process removes any dust or dirt. So let's start with three ways to preserve the tomatoes. Number one, tomato garlic sauce. Add one part olive oil to two part tomatoes in a pan. Keep the heat on medium and when the oil starts to warm up, add diced garlic in there. I like to add a lot of garlic. I have about 20 cloves of garlic in there, but you can add garlic to taste, but garlic gives the flavor in this sauce. Roast the garlic in the pan until they're light brown, which takes about three to five minutes. And then it's time to add the tomatoes. Tomatoes are ready. They're all washed and diced. Add all of these tomatoes to the pan. After adding the tomatoes, turn the heat down to low and then simmer the tomatoes for an hour. The purpose is to cook down and reduce the tomatoes and evaporate all the water from the tomatoes. About 20 minutes in, you can see the tomatoes are cooking down. As they're cooking down, keep stirring and you can see a lot of water and all of this water needs to evaporate. This is my favorite sauce. It only has very few ingredients. It has olive oil, tomatoes, salt and pepper, and some garlic, that's it. So after an hour or maybe up to hour and a half, depending on the amount of mixture you have, the tomato sauce will reduce down to this consistency. When the oil begins to separate from the sauce, the sauce is almost ready. Add a teaspoon of sugar, add salt to taste, maybe one to two teaspoons, and add black pepper to taste as well. Mix the sauce and the sauce is ready. This sauce is really good just to have with some bread. It makes a great appetizer to any meal and you can actually have it as a meal as well. You can also add this sauce to sandwiches and pasta. This sauce will last in the refrigerator for up to six months, which will get you up to the next tomato season. Number two, dried tomatoes. Start by slicing the tomatoes. Try to keep the thickness of sliced tomatoes even. This will ensure uniform dehydration process. So we have all of these tomatoes sliced and ready. Slicing and cleaning up the tomatoes creates all these tomato scraps. All of these tomato scraps are an excellent chicken food. If you don't have chickens, you can start a worm bin and feed these to the earthworms. Start by placing the sliced tomatoes on the drying tray. Try to cover as much surface as possible. When slicing the tomatoes, it's very important to slice them evenly because if you slice them too thin or too thick, they're not going to dry evenly either. So, after you put them all on the tray, all of this tray is ready to go into the dehydrator. Next, insert the drying trays in the dehydrator. Close the dehydrator and set the temperatures to 100 degree Fahrenheit and set the time to 30 hours. All right, the dehydrator is on and it's going to run for 30 hours. So if you're going to be dehydrating tomatoes, make sure you fill up your dehydrator completely so that you're not wasting any energy. You want to make use of all the space in there and dehydrate tomatoes and then you'll get sun-dried tomatoes. After 30 hours, pull the trays and you will see the tomatoes are very finely dehydrated and all the water has evaporated. It is very important to evaporate all the moisture to preserve the tomatoes and have a longer shelf life. Place the dried tomatoes in airtight jars. Dried tomatoes placed in airtight containers and stored in cool, dry place will last up to one year. Number three, freeze tomatoes. To freeze tomatoes, remove the tomato stems and add the tomatoes to a food processor. 
Crush the tomatoes in the fruit processor for up to 15 to 20 seconds, which is enough. Add the crushed tomatoes to freezer grade Ziploc bags. Crushing the tomatoes helps to pack the tomatoes very densely and remove all the voids. Remove all the air from the Ziploc bag and then seal the Ziploc bag. These crushed tomatoes are ready for freezing. You can also dice the tomatoes for freezing as well. Dicing the tomatoes preserves the different colors of tomatoes. Add the diced tomatoes to the freezer grade Ziploc bags. Press and remove the air from the Ziploc bag and then seal the Ziploc bag. Flatten out the Ziploc bags for easy storage and stacking and then add to the freezer. We have quite a few tomatoes frozen which will get us up to the next tomato season. These frozen tomatoes are good up to one year. All right, now it's time to feed all those tomato scraps to these chickens and we have ducks as well. So they're going to enjoy these. Well, there you go. Well, all these chickens are enjoying the, all the scraps from tomatoes. It's their favorite food. This is a really good way to use the kitchen scraps. And ducks absolutely love tomatoes. They eat the whole tomato in a gulp. And there goes Lily. She wants to come play as well. Lily, calm down. Okay, Lily. You want to come inside? You have to behave. Here. Okay. Sit. Sit. Okay. If you want to play. Oh my God. If you want to play, you have to be a good girl, okay? Ready? I'll let you in, but you gotta be good, okay? Come on. Hey. <laughs> yep, she's behaving with the chickens. If you like watching Lily and you like watching chickens and other animals, I've created a second channel called Daisy Creek Animals in which I'll be covering the life of these animals and also fun and facts about these animals as well. So, if you like these animals, subscribe to Daisy Creek Animals and I'll leave a link to the channel in the description of this video. And look who came here to hug me. <laughs> Lily, you like the pumpkins? Huh? So all of these chickens are enjoying their tomatoes and I hope you got enough information to preserve tomatoes three different ways without canning them. And I'll see you in another video.